Hello, it is Foundation Friday, July 5th, 2024. Steve Cypress here with another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, 2,239 Tested Secrets for Direct Marketing Success, compiled by the great Denny Hatch. And today we have a short and sweet one. We are, looks like about almost 90% through the book, maybe just a few hundred more tips to choose from. So in a few weeks, uh, we'll be kicking off with a new series on Foundational Friday. Let me know uh, with an email, steve at stevecypress.com, or a comment, or a personal message, wherever you're reading this, watching, or listening to it. If you have a book or anything else you wanted me to start a new series on, or a topic, or anything at all for Foundation Friday coming up, uh, we'll be doing that, looks like, in a few weeks. But today, we have one short and simple and sweet, and I find it strange that this is attributed to somebody, not to mention somebody I never heard of. It's uh, somebody, uh, Ellsworth Howell. So I had no idea who that is, so I looked him up, and apparently Ellsworth Howell uh, was a uh, VP and director of a mail order company. So he knows his stuff when it comes to taking orders and how to get orders. And his foundational tip today is make it as easy as possible for the customer to order. Short, Sweet, simple, there it is. Make it easy as possible for the customer order. Again, I, I find it strange that's attributed to somebody who uh, who lived uh, in the past century because that seems to be a, a truism, a maxim of advertising, marketing, and sales going back forever. But anyway, let's just attribute it, as Denny Hatch does, to Ellsworth Howell. Uh, but that is extremely uh, apparent uh, over the past few years where I have seen this uh, this rush, this, uh, this groundswell to having funnels, that you need funnels, that funnels are so great that every company needs a funnel and every business needs a funnel. And I'm like, uh, really? What's the funnel of the most successful companies on earth that sell billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of stuff? Let's take Amazon. What's the funnel of Amazon? There is none. I search for something and I click. There's no funnel. There's no like step one, step two, step three. I mean, sure, yeah, they say uh, when you're when you're in the cart, when you're buying, they say like, oh, you may want this with it or something like, you call that a funnel? I call it making it as simple as possible for people to order. Click, add to cart, click, and then there's even one click order, right? We have our credit card and our address saved. So it's like, you don't even have to go to the cart. You see what you like, and you see, looks decent to me, looks like what I'm looking for, looks like a good price for it, click, order, boom. Oh, now I'm hungry, let's go to McDonald's. What's the funnel of the most financially successful restaurant in the history of mankind, McDonald's? What's the funnel? I walk up, or I drive up, and I look at a menu, and I say, give me number one. They say, that'll be whatever, 10 bucks, drive up. I was going to say five bucks, but buy dynamics. Uh, so uh, drive up. I give them the five, ten bucks, whatever. They hand me a bag with the food. What was, what was the funnel? I mean, and again, you can argue that their funnel was, do you want fries with that? Or would you like to supersize that? Would you like to add a McApple pie to your order? Or something? Like, you call that a funnel? Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you. Call that a funnel. Again, you can go on and on. Walmart. I walk into Walmart, number one retailer in the history of Earth, pick up an item, I go to the checkout, and I pay for it, and it's mine. What was the funnel? What was the funnel? I mean, again, you can stretch it and say that there are some impulse items right there near the cash register, some candy bars or gum or National Enquirer magazine, so maybe there's the second step, the upsell, the ooh-ah, the add-on. Like what? Look, make it as simple as possible. So... I have had uh, people uh, that have offered to my clients over the years ridiculously overcomplicated 17-step funnels, upsells, downsells. They, they're so proud to show you their charts. Uh, you know, you know the flow charts. If this, then that, and after this, it goes back to this, then it goes up to there, and who, and aha, and then, oh, and, and as a coach or a consultant, like I consult to business owners, I help them with their advertising, their marketing, their sales. Uh, if, 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 if I'm going to coach somebody, uh, all they have to do is click and pay the money and register for the coaching, and I'll coach them. 
I'm an incredibly excellent coach of advertising, marketing, sales. I can coach anybody. Doesn't even matter how uncoachable they are. They, they express their coachability by paying money and saying, oh, you know what? Steve Cypress is one of the best in the world at coaching people to improve their advertising, marketing, and sales. Click, I'll take it. And then we schedule their first call. And on that call, we'll schedule additional calls and so forth. And we'll get them the details and I'll get them log into my programs or whatever it is. But the buying process, incredibly simple. Now it's a little more complex if they want me and my team to do it all for them instead, because then I got to make sure I'm working with someone who will work with me and my team. You know, I can't tell you how, how many incredibly long, ridiculous, needless delays I've had. And I'm sure other done for you people can relate when I say something simple, like, well, send me over your bio and headshot and that takes two weeks. Or, you know, my team wrote 20 emails for you, like look them over and tell me if you like them or not, and we'll get them launched. And that takes two weeks. Like, you know, I don't want to work with somebody that is not showing me that they're an action taker, that they can't respond, that they're not fun to work with. Right. So if I don't work with them, yeah, I'll get on a call, but that's still an easy process. We get on a call. I say, what questions do you have? Whatever. I want to get to know them a little bit and their goals. And if it seems like a good fit, let's go. It's not a 14 step funnel. You'll never see me with a click funnel thing in the background of an X of how many millions of dollars I brought into how many funnels with how many extra steps and upsells and downsells and resells and un this and that 42, whatever's like pay attention to this week's tip courtesy of Ellsworth Howell. Very simple. I think it's 10 words or less, which is befitting of the tip itself. Make it as easy as possible for the customer to order, period. And that'll do it for Foundation Friday, July 5th, 2024. Another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, 2,239 Tested Secrets for Direct Marketing Success. I'll have another tip from you from this book for you next Foundation Friday. And I'll be back with you tomorrow on Social Media Saturday.